just like most episodes of Carter's Life, we're starting it here in the back end of the Timur house, holding a fat stack of cash. Oh gosh, okay. Bunch of stuff, all counted out. This is $10,000 in total, 20s, 100s, 50s, <laughs> all kinds of different stuff. I need to collect this. I gotta catch a flight. I like 5 a.m. tomorrow, and we're gonna be turning this into the next crazy thing at Team Roar. Is that a fire truck? That's a fire truck. <laughs> 110 foot ladder right wow, there. Right there. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was. Yeah. It's, it's about to be bigger. We just gotta catch a flight. <laughs> Mornings like this, I'd never get that good of sleep. We gotta go catch the flight. Airport is off over that way. So we are gonna be heading over there. And just like that, guys, we are at the airport. We're uh, boarding in literally like five minutes. Oh no. We got security out. Oh, it's the longest. Okay, I have never seen it this busy. We might miss our flight. That would be a huge bummer. So I flew through security. Pre-check was a breeze. Highly recommend getting that if you guys travel a lot. It took me years to get it, but I'm so glad I did. But Matt doesn't have it, so he's stuck in the regular line. And it's so long. The flight is boring, so I'm walking to the gate. I'm gonna go scope it out. I'm gonna see how much time he has. He thinks he's roughly halfway through, but I think this is a really good shot of us actually missing a flight today. Where he's officially started, Matt is still not through security. There he is. Ah, let's go. Kenny, I'm nice to meet you. That's Matt and Carter. How's it going? All right, well, the truck looks good, so we're just gonna go ahead and get it done. Yeah. Got the cash. It's all there. You guys are welcome to take your time and look yeah. through it all. All right. This soon to be secret room is gonna hold the suitcases for now. I'm gonna hop on up. So it's a done deal. We own a new fire truck and we have an issue. We might need an extra hand. Get that up. There we go. We're, oh, we're good. I can't tell if I have a seatbelt. So, uh, you know, if you ever didn't want to buckle up when you're driving, I guess this is your best excuse. There just isn't any. <laughs> Listen to that. Before we started, I feel like. Oh yeah. I know this this pedal kind of sucks. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna have a sore thigh by the end of this, and it kind of sticks on us. Let's see. So it's just like the other one. Double click. Double click. Single click. And, and double push. You're saying? Uh oh. <laughs> Nothing. Right there. The monster truck. Dude, oh. don't say that. It is. It's the same one. Yeah, it's an auto, so we just. <laughs> <laughs> the littlest tiny gauge too. Man, I love the room we have up yeah, here. We've got some serious space. Well, and we are off driving an absolute behemoth. This thing is much oh, bigger than we didn't need the, 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 the wipers. Look at that. A little off-road test. I love the air brake sounds. It really sounds like a bus. Hey, this one does. Yeah, even more. Man, look at that view, guys. Ah. So cool. This isn't your first fire truck you had to wrench with. Oh, sure. <laughs> it's just the bigger this one. This ain't my first rodeo. Oh, wow. Full throttle. We are barely moving. There's only so much you can look at when you're buying one of these, and it's either you make an offer or you walk away. And for us, we didn't have a way to get home other than this. Look at this. Look at the, the fact that it sticks out like that is ridiculous. <laughs> Way better in just about, I think, every possible way. These roads are small. They have to be tall enough for fire trucks, right? Look how low this like, is, guys. It looks guys. like we're gonna hit it for sure. Oh. I bet you it's like a lot. I mean, we might have like six feet, but it looks it like looks close. it looks really close. I mean, we're definitely gonna hit some branches, I would imagine. I've never drove anything where you're considered about the power lines. I mean, these are really low power lines. Like, that is scary. Every one of these power lines looks really low. But yeah, they can't. They can't be the biggest thing ever. Right now we're taller than a semi, you know? Oh my gosh, it's scary. Yeah, they have to be pretty strict. That traffic light is super low. We're gonna see if we knock it. Oh, it looks like we're about to hit it. I don't know. We must be inches away. There's a sign that says no trucks over eight foot nine, and we are 13 <laughs> foot six. Quite a bit over that. So we're just gonna strap in and just hope we don't hit. <laughs> <laughs> 
just duck your head, I think, right? <laughs> just duck. Duck the bucket. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is the biggest machine. Are we only going 35 right now? We're going about, yeah, 38, 40. It feels, 40. it feels like we're going very fast. Just cranking the wheel. You got, you, you know, as sharp as you can go, he's still over the double yellow a little bit. Doing the best we can. Full throttle on the gas. It runs well. It feels pretty good. It feels like it drives really well. We bought the truck. This thing is absolutely amazing and everything is going so well until. I think we blew out a tire. I think that's a tire. Yep, and I'm pretty sure that was a tire. Yeah, that's a tire. Oh, not good. This is really not good. Oh, that is a... That's a tire. That's a tire, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's shrapnel here and there's a tire all the way down there. Oh, boy. Well... That was scary. I don't know if it caused a whole lot of damage, which is one plus side, but I don't know what that means for us. That was loud. That was scary. I had a feeling it was a tire as soon as it blew. I mean, my goodness, it didn't, uh, we weren't going any faster. What do you think caused a tire? Just banging I mean, or I just know, an man. old tire? I don't know. Is it older than we thought? Yeah, I don't know. I, the, the, this tire looked, like, I mean, they all looked really good. I mean, yeah, it Yeah, looked. like it bent this. Oh yeah, I mean, it's a pretty big blow. I'm surprised it didn't rip something off. Yeah, okay. Well, we need a truck shop. This is gonna be bad. Yeah, I'm not really sure exactly. I don't know what this really means for us, but why does a tire just blow out like that? It happens all the time. Semi trucks get tire blowouts and whatnot. I'm not really sure why, but here's a, uh, Matt's gonna pick up the rest of it. Like we didn't check our PSIs Maybe and it was anything. Just too high? <sighs> oh boy. That's where the blowout happened and we just made it not too much further to here. This is a piece. Yeah, those metal wires are sharp. Oh, there's a big old piece peeled up under there. What the heck? It just delaminated. So we've been calling around all kinds of places. I even called the local fire department, which is like less than a mile that way. Nobody can help us. Um, a lot of places the truck needs to go in. It's all kinds of different things. So we're just trying to find any situation to get this truck off the road. Ideally, Someone would come out and just swap the tire, but I think you got to special order some of these tires. Probably like 15 to 20 phone calls. We finally have a situation figured out. We have Hello. a solution. Hey, Steve. Hey, Carter. So, yeah, not exactly going to plan right now. Uh oh. We are stuck on the side of the road about 50 minutes from you. Yeah, we're gonna, so we gotta get it towed to a shop where then it's gonna have to sit for a few days to special order pieces for it. Oh, so it's like broken, broken. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're stuck literally in the middle of the road. Oh, so, wow. uh, yeah, the tow truck's coming. I'm hoping that all works and it can, it's a, you know, can get us moving. Uh, but then we'll need a ride. Okay, um, you just send me your location. All right, well, I'll okay. see you in, I guess, about an hour or less. Okay, yeah, probably an hour. I'll call you when I'm heading out. All right, perfect. Okay. Bye, thanks. We got a guy trying to help us, maybe. <sighs> see what he's all about. You guys good or not? Or you got a blowout or what? Yeah, we got a blowout. Yeah, these are uh, no-nos. These you'll, you'll kill yourself. See this inner ring here? It's warm. You feel them? Feel them. That's part of what maybe caused yeah. the blowout? Well, look, look, here. Well, they're, they're heating up. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. So that's what makes blowouts. Where, how far are you going? Well, we're trying to go all the way down to North Carolina. Oh, you guys are nuts, man. We got a tow truck on the way. Bad tire, tow's yeah. coming. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we got all our fingers and toes. Thanks Thank for stopping. You. Thank you. <laughs> uh, all right, then. You guys have a great day. Take, Take care. You. Thank you. <laughs> well, we have we're, 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 we have a solution now. So a big old tow truck is coming. I wonder if I should see if Steven can come and grab us. Yeah, that that would work. We don't have to ride with it. So the, That's what they, I'm thinking. They, we're not going to help. Any, yeah, anybody, so. anything over the phone, anyways. So. How's it going? It's a bad place to park. Yeah, not the best uh, place. Could yeah. be better. So what's going on with it? I had a tire blow out in the front. Okay. We've got a truck coming, superior towing. Okay. How far out did they say they were? Uh, they should be less than an hour now, hopefully. Are you guys with the fire department? 
Sorry, no. Are you guys with the fire department? No. No? Mm -hmm. All right. I don't know if this is for us. That's a bad joke if this is, if that's seriously who they said. That's for like a regular car. That's not Yeah, for that's car. for a small car. Like for that pop car. Sure. How you guys doing? Good. 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 I hope you got something a little bigger than I that. I do. How about, how heavy is this thing though? Uh, 60,000. 60,000, all right. This thing's not going to be much of an issue, right? Coming lower than that? Um, maybe a little bit of an issue, but we'll make it happen. Okay, here comes the big truck. Ooh. All right, well, we got the tow truck. The tow truck is here. Right. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. We're able to hook this thing up right. with this. Oh, Steven should be here soon. Hey, hey. Yeah. How's it <laughs> going? Not too bad. How about yourself, man? Well, we've been a little better. So we got to move this to the other side so we can fit this. Literally a crane truck. Oh, there's Steve. You see him? Yeah. Uh, I, we, I need a ride. Go oh. down and turn around yeah. and go in front of the truck. Yeah. Okay. Very unusual situation. I didn't expect, you no know. No one does. It's, a, it's an unusual truck. I was excited about it and, uh. And you still can be, it's just. Oh, I am. I it just, just got a lot more expensive than it needed to be. Right? Yeah, I kind of might be doubling the price on it right now. I mean, these tires, from what I understand, are about $3,000 a piece. Yeah. Plus and installation I, and. Yeah, and I bought two of them and the whole truck wasn't even too expensive, so. <laughs> it's an expensive learning uh, learning experience. The whole truck is being lifted in the air. Well, it's been an absolute adventure of a day starting at 5 a.m. It is now 5 p.m. So what is that, 12 hours, 12 hours of just craziness from planes to Ubers to fire trucks to cop cars. And we still haven't even made it to Steven's house. Yes. The tow trucks, it's just literally so many trucks. It's been crazy. There might be more to the story that's about to happen next. That's going to be in the next episode of Carter's Life. See you guys then. Woo!